Yeah, why we have to use Verilog? Um, it is used to describe complex designs, input to synthesized tools. Uh, you can easily input the synthesizable subset, exploration with simulation. So we can simulate and see the output. Why not use a general purpose language? So general purpose language does not support for structure and instantiation. So it does not sub support bit level behavior. So bit level behavior is supported in Verilog and VHDL. Support for timing. So supports for timing. Timing means uh, when at what at what instant the input was applied and when we got the output. That is what is called as timing. So it will support the timing. HDL will support timing. The other general purpose language will never support the timing. Concurrency is also supported in HDL. Verilog versus VHDL. So nowadays Verilog is worldwide used accepted language. Verilog is relatively simple and close to C. VSDL is complex and close to ADA. Verilog has 60% of the world digital design market, a larger share in US, more than 90% nowadays. Verilog modeling range from gates to processor level. Uh, RTL is also supported by Verilog modeling. Trends in HDL, the most popular trend currently used in HDL is to design at RTL level. Design at RTL level. Behavioral synthesis allowed engineers to di design directly in terms of algorithms and behavioral circuit. Sir, then you may ask me a question, sir, can computer science students learn Verilog? Yes, definitely they can learn Verilog. But you guys will be more comfortable because you will be learning digital system design in a proper and thorough way. They will learn in an abstract level. That's why definitely computer CS students can also write the program in behavior level. Verilog HDL is also being constantly enhanced to meet needs of new verification methods. Uh, verification is done by Verilog HDL. Verilog HDL is also used for formal verification. So formal verification means uh, uh, whether the circuit has rigged up properly or we can, can, the designer has designed the circuit in the proper way, proper rules. Assertion checks. So we can check the assertions using the uh, in the RTL codes, new verification languages are, have also gained rapid acceptance. These languages combine the parallelism and hardware construct from HDL with the object-oriented nature of C++. Other programs, other languages are also there, but uh, these are the basic uh, HDLs, Verilog and VHDL. <coughs> Another technique that is used for system level design is a mixed bottom-up methodology, uh, where designers use either existing Verilog HDL modules uh, as basic building blocks bottom up bottom up technology and uh, top down methodology so the next topic is the same thing we have this uh, next topic as uh, hierarchical modeling so hierarchical modeling there are two types top down design methodology bottom up design methodology so top down means first we'll write the top level block then we'll write the sub blocks sub blocks are again classified into leaf cells so you can see the arrow marks here all the arrow marks are from top to bottom, top to bottom. So with an example, we'll try to see this. So now you can see here, it's a bottom down, bottom up methodology. The arrow marks are changing here. Top level block is designed last, at last. So basically the leaf cell is written first. From the leaf cell, you have the macro cell. From the macro cell, you have the top level block. <clears throat> so for today's class, it is more than sufficient, I guess. So in today's class, we dealt about uh, what? We dealt about the emergence of HDL, the typical design flow. Then we we came to know there are, in the hierarchical modeling, there are two types, top-down design methodology and the bottom-up design methodology. So we'll stop here with the examples of top-down and bottom-up. We'll continue in the next class. If you have any doubts, I'll, you can unmute the mic and you can speak. Once again, uh, once again, mark your attendance. Your organization is not uh, uh, marked. Once again, chat. Once again, in chat window, write your USN and uh, name. Share your uh, 
USN. Once again, write your USN and, and uh, name. Once again. After doing that, you can uh, leave from the class. We will continue in the next class. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Don't feel hesitant. Try to understand the subject. After marking your attendance, uh, you can leave the class. OK, thank you.